Okay, digital imaging. Uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna work with our type tool here. Um, so you've got your document open. We've got our type tool document open here. Uh, you want to make sure that you've <clears throat> got this. Uh, you're on the right layer here. So I'm gonna go up to window and then go to layers here. Remember our layers panel is over here. Uh, you've got two layers. Uh, remember your when you open this up, you should download the file and then open it up inside Illustrator here. And everything everything should look the same as mine here. So. Remember, you want to work on this work area layer, and then here is our uh, worksheet layer here. You just want to keep that locked so you don't accidentally select something here. Uh, remember, if you want to make yours look like mine, you can go up to Window, you can go to Workspace, and then I'm on Essentials Classic. Personally, that's the one that I like the most. Uh, it works really well. <clears throat> you can get all your tools and stuff like that here. Uh, so we're going to work with the Type Tool today, and there's a lot of different options that you can do uh, with the Type Tool and some things that you can uh, work with here. So our type tool is over here. Um, first, we're going to uh, just use our type uh, on a line here. So you'll notice that when you use the type tool, if you just click once, we're going to type on a line. I'm just going to type in, you know, digital imaging here. If I could spell it. Okay. <clears throat> I can select my type by grabbing my selection tool here. I can make this bigger. Uh, I can stretch this if I'd like. I can kind of squish it like that, kind of stretch it out here. Uh, to look at my type, I can look at it at a couple different places. I can go up to type here up at the top, and then I can go to font. And then this will show me some different examples of some of my different fonts and stuff like that. But I can also go over here to my character panel uh, and open that up here. Um, so with my character panel, the same thing. If I click on this, it'll show me all my different fonts and stuff like that. Uh, that I've got downloaded on my computer. So you might not have all the same ones uh, that I have here. Um, and then inside my character palette, uh, so I'm just gonna grab a font. Let's go with this one here. You guys aren't gonna have this one downloaded. This is one that I have uh, specifically uh, downloaded here. So inside here, yours might look like this when you first start. Um, remember inside your windows, you'll have some different options. So if I go here to these three lines here, I can go to show options here. And inside here, I've got a lot of different options that I can kind of play around with here. So here I can change the uh, size of my font. I can use these arrows to make that bigger or smaller. I can type inside there. So if I want to make this like, you know, 40, something like that, I can do that. Here is the space in between my fonts here. It's called the letting. Um, this, since I just have this one line here, it won't change that, but the letting is the space in uh, between here, so I can uh, make those so that they're closer together like that. Here is the spacing in between called kerning. Whoops. Um, I guess I can't do that. Um, here I can change the space in between, or I can increase that space. Here's the height, um, and some other things here. You can kind of play around with these. Uh, I can make this all capitals. I can make it all lowercase. This font just comes with one in all capitals here, and do that, and then I can also adjust it. And then if I want to add some other things, some other like little glyphs and things like that, I can do that here, okay? I'm just gonna grab this and put this here. <clears throat> If I press T on my computer, I can grab my type tool. That's the quick key for that and put that here. Here I can create a box and I can type with inside a box here. So if I grab my type tool, I can click and drag and type inside here. You'll notice that this automatically fills with what's called lorem ipsum. Lorem ipsum is just like a bunch of different Latin uh, text that's been like put together here. Um, so you can kind of see what all your fonts look like here. So if I want to fill this in, I've got some over here that you guys can grab. It should automatically fill it in. I'm not sure why it did. I think it's because it's so big. It didn't fill that full. It should fill my, my whole square in. Yeah, there we go. Um, <clears throat> so there you can kind of see what that looks like there. Uh, if I wanted to kind of play around with this, some of this is kind of pretty standard um, sort of word processing stuff. So up here at the top, I've got my paragraph. I can center things, you know, on the center. I can justify it to the right. Center justify, things like that. I can set my spacing here um, with that as well. Uh, but that's all pretty standard stuff too as well here. Okay. 
Um, so with this, you can create a box. If I wanted to kind of edit that box, I can always like select that box and kind of like stretch it, you know, if I wanted to put this inside some kind of weird shape like that, I could do that, okay? Um, <clears throat> here, I've already got one uh, set up here. What you want to do is create this as an outline. Um, sometimes you want to adjust fonts and kind of change them. We'll do that here in a second when we go over here to the, to the right there. Um, but if you have a font uh, that you've downloaded, uh, you can turn it into an outline. So you basically turn it into an object. So if I go up to type and then go to create outlines, I'm going to turn that from a font into an object as if I drew it out with like my pen tool or something. So like let's say I wanted to kind of adjust this. I wanted to kind of like, you know, play with some of these letters, kind of give them some different characteristics. You know, I could do that and kind of like play around with those and sort of adjust those with that. The thing about this is, is once you've turn something into an outline uh, you can't turn it back into a font uh, so it's you can only do it that one time and then you can't really adjust it okay so kind of play around with you know using your direct selection tool and grabbing some of those nodes you can do a different font with this one I could kind of adjust you know kind of the edges here maybe I want to like bring this in you know make this one just like a little bit closer things like that and do that um, if you do want to kind of keep if you want to remember what the font, kind of a good practice is you can always just kind of like make a copy of that font and put that over there uh, to the right there like that. Okay. Our next tool, this is a newer tool uh, inside Illustrator, which is really great. It's called our, our touch type font tool here. Um, usually, and I'll, let me just kind of show you what it is here. So remember if you click on any of your tools, it's got this little carrot on the bottom there. And so that means I've got more options. We're going to use more of these options too. And then down here at the top, I've got my touch, or at the bottom, I've got my touch type tool. You've got to have the letters selected here. And then if I click one of these, I can kind of adjust these individually here. So I can kind of play around with these, but I can make just this one letter bigger. I can kind of stretch this. I can make it, um, you know, a little bit shorter. I can grab the corner here and kind of move it over um, and stretch it out like that here. I used to not be able to do this inside Illustrator. You'd have to like go and adjust it individually. But now with this tool, um, it makes that all uh, really easy here. So kind of play around. You also don't have to use the same words that I use for this. You can play around with it however you'd like. Kind of adjust it however you'd like here. Okay. And the nice thing about this is it stays it stays a font, so it's not like we've turned it into an outline. Um, I can still kind of mess with this. I could even go in and change this to a different font um, if I wanted to here. Okay, so I'm just kind of playing around with this, seeing all the different things that I can do uh, with the touch type tool. Again, it gives you like a lot of different options for kind of like changing your font and adjusting it, and it's really pretty cool here. Okay. Again, I've got this all in like black and white. You know, I could change this. I wanted to grab like a different font, you know. I actually don't hate that. That's kind of cool. Um, I could change the colors here. You know, maybe I want to give this like a yellow fill. And then I want to adjust like my stroke here and give this like a different color stroke. Maybe I want to do like, you know, an orange. Give this kind of a thicker orange here. It could be kind of fun. Okay. <clears throat> Um, here I can use my vertical type tool. So I'm going to go in here and uh, grab this. I'm going to go to my vertical type. So if I click here, you can see it's got the font that I've selected here. And then I can type this in here like this. Okay. Okay, so that's my vertical type tool. And then I also have my, oh, Jesus, dude. Okay, um, so that's my vertical type, type tool here. Now I can use my area type tool. So the area type tool is you can type inside uh, different areas. So I'm gonna make a couple different shapes and kind of see uh, what it's doing here. So if I grab my, my ellipse tool, I can go to my area type tool. And if I click inside this area, it'll auto fill here. Okay, so you can see it's filling in here. 
You want to select the shape first before you do that. So I can click and type inside there. Again, I can kind of adjust my fonts. You know, kind of play around with that. Okay, I'm just going to bring this a little bit closer together here. I'm going to play around with this, you know, see if you can make kind of like some interesting shapes with this. I'm going to change to a different font here, one that's just like a little bit uh, closer together here. And I just want to kind of adjust the distance and stuff like that. You can use the same shot, the same uh, fonts that I did, uh, or you can try some different fonts here, same shapes too as well if you want to do some different shapes. Okay. Our next tool is our uh, type on a curve or type on a path tool. So it'll work with any sort of uh, path that I make. So if I want to grab like my Bezier tool, I can make kind of like this line here and you'll kind of see what it does here. So I can grab this, I can do type on a path. You'll notice that it'll get rid of my line here. Okay. So if I want to keep this line, what I'd want to do is make a copy of this. So if I want to make this, yeah, type on a line like that, I want to keep that, and then I could put this back here, like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna type on the outside of this. Okay, um, so that's using our type on a path tool. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to explore using some uh, different fonts and things like that. So uh, with fonts, you can have different fonts that have kind of different characteristics to them here. So I've got a list of different words for you to choose from. These are just ones that I've made up. If you have another, other words that you want to do, um, I want you to try out some different fonts and try to get some fonts that kind of go with uh, some of the different words that you've chosen here. So. Um, if you look at the fonts, you'll see that, you know, they have their own kind of style. They're just like people. Each font has its own kind of characteristics or personality. So look through the different fonts that you have. And you want to try to find a font that kind of works for, you know, the word that you're, that you're doing or the kind of the message you're trying to communicate here. You know, so if I think of like the word hello, you know, I want to try to find maybe kind of like a font that is... You know, kind of like softer, um, kind of fun here. Maybe like this, like cookie one would be kind of a good one here. Oops. Okay. Um, so you've got eight different words. So what I want you to do for this part is play around with uh, some of these different tools that we've talked about. You could use like the type on a path tool. You can use your touch type tool. Um, but then we're also going to use uh, some other tools to kind of adjust our font and kind of play around with it. So uh, we're going to use uh, some of our distort and um, twirl tools here. So to do that, the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to uh, turn your font into an outline. So you want to make sure that you get everything, you know, just how you'd like it. So if you're going to adjust this font using like your touch type tool, you'd want to do all that work beforehand. So if I want to like stretch this out, make this a little bit, actually I don't think I want to make it taller. I think maybe I'll make it just like a little bit wider here. You know, maybe I want to add just kind of like a little bit of space for these letters here and kind of stretch everything out, kind of make it like that here. 
Okay, so maybe that's something that I want to do for this one. I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller here. Okay. Um, so what I want you to do is is explore some of these uh, different like distort and uh, pucker tools here inside the width tool. So to do that, you need to turn it from a font into an object. So we're going to do the create outlines portion here. So I'm going to go up to, if you think you might want to adjust this and change this, um, what you want to do is make a copy of that. Um, so if I just hold my alt key, I can make a copy and just put that down here. And then I'm going to go up to type and then go to create outlines. So remember that that once you do this, you can't step backwards. You can't like turn this back into a font. Um, so I'm going to grab uh, some different tools here. I'm going to grab just the first one here and I'm going to grab my warp tool. Um, now you've got this brush here. I can make this bigger or smaller uh, using my bracket key. So I can make this smaller here. I thought I could. Maybe I keep, maybe I have to adjust up here. If I double click on my tool here, I'll get this window that opens up. Oh yeah, I can adjust it here. But I guess I can't use. So let's maybe do like 50 by 50. You can also change the intensity and you can change the angle here of that brush. Okay, so see my brush is a little bit smaller. If I click on this and kind of like drag this and kind of like stretch it, you know, so maybe I want to make this just like really kind of, kind of fat, you know, and kind of adjust that here. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to do, I'm going to use a different tool here. So same thing. You want to, I'm just going to use some of the same fonts that I've got here. You want to adjust these fonts, you know, and pick different words. You can use the words that I've got. Um, and you, or you can uh, pick different ones here. Uh, so I'm going to go up here, go to type, and then go to create outlines. And then I'm going to grab my, I could do my scallop tool or my crystallize tool. See the little icons that kind of show you um, what they do. So I'm going to try scallop. And same thing, I can't adjust it. I thought I could, but I guess you can't. So I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller here. Something like that. And then kind of I'll play with uh, intensity here. You know, kind of play around with this. The whole point of this is to kind of play around with it and see what you can do with it. So if I grab this here, I can kind of stretch that and make this kind of spiky. If I bring this up here like that, I can do something like that here. If I just click it once, it'll be just a little bit spiky. If I click and drag, you know, I can kind of like pull some of those edges here. I want to see, let's try crystallize too. Yeah, crystallize is pretty similar. You can kind of play with the intensity too, so maybe I want to make this less intense. Let's see what like 10 looks like. I'll press OK. Okay. So if I just click with it, it's not quite as uh, intense, but then if I click and drag and kind of hold down, you know, you can see it kind of really kind of adjusts it. Actually, like I like how it's working on that. Yeah, it works better if I'm on the inside here. So I probably want to make this a little bit smaller. Oops. Can make that a little skinnier, and that way it kind of fits in there and does better. And if I just really kind of click and hold down, it'll really kind of like stretch it. So I'm just holding down on my mouse here and just really kind of like stretching that out. Kind of bringing all those little like sections you know out like that. Some areas it works a little bit better here and then other areas kind of works a little bit different. Um, so that's our uh, scallop tool and our crystallize tool. Let's grab another font here and see what else. You know maybe I want to make I'm just going to do the letter, do the word loud here. 
make that a little bit bigger. Go to type, create outlines. And I'm gonna do blow. So same thing, I can go here. It's got some of my same settings, so I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Oops, I'm not messing with the intensity, I'm messing with the width. Let's go uh, to my intensity here. So I can make this a little bit stronger here. And press OK. So I can really kind of stretch it. You know, something like that. Really kind of messed. That's not quite, this isn't quite the tool for what I want, but I actually don't mind it. So I can really kind of adjust it, manipulate it, do all sorts of things with it. Okay, uh, the pucker is gonna be kind of the same thing, but the opposite. I kind of like bring stuff in, kind of mess with it here. Just kind of stretch it. Okay, I'm gonna go to uh, create outlines here, type create outlines. Let's try this wrinkle tool. Um, the twirl tool, you know, it's also similar. I can kind of, this one I'd want to adjust my intensity. Maybe like four, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, so if I adjust that to four, it's a lot slower here and easier to kind of manipulate. So play around with the settings here for each one of those. You know, some of the default settings that you have on there are going to work pretty well. But then, uh, like this one here is pretty intense, so I'd want to bring down the intensity here. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to use some of these other tools and kind of see what they look like. But ideally, you just want to kind of play around with them, see what they do. Um, you know, here's our warp tool. Kind of adjust it and warp it here. And then... I can grab my wrinkle tool. It's similar to my spiky tool as well. Actually, the wrinkle tool just kind of adjusts the edges here. So it's just kind of like putting little wrinkles along the edge, which is pretty cool. Okay. So um, do eight different words here and adjust the fonts and play around with some of the different functions here underneath the width tool, this warp twirl pucker here. Uh, you don't have to use these settings for all of them, uh, but I do want you to like try different fonts, try different characteristics. You can try these lines here. Um, remember you can always adjust those even with like your direct selection tool. So I can like grab my anchor point and kind of adjust that too with my direct selection tool after I've turned this um, you know, into an outline here. You can also adjust the colors and things like that. Uh, if you need to adjust these letter, these numbers here so that you can get the words in some equal spacing, you can also do that. Um, you can go to here to your work area and unlock that and kind of change those here. Okay, play around with colors as well. Uh, I've just kept mine all black to keep it nice and simple. Um, 